BeamNG's amazing German SUV mod has been remastered by the modding community. Let's check out all the new features. So this SUV is based on the ETK 800 wagon from the vanilla game. As you can see, it's been raised up to make a pretty nice looking SUV. It's based on things like the BMW X5. The mod's been brought up to date with new lights all the way around that look really nice and at the back. Look at those LEDs at the back. Of course, all the exterior panels do open open and the interior has been tweaked to bring it up to date with the other ETKs in BeamNG. And yes, this interior is almost identical to the ETK 800. Today we're going to be driving around River Highway, a brilliant modded map which has over 200 kilometers of explorable roads. We're starting at this little service station, so let's go left, I've got traffic on, and this thing drives pretty well. Now we're just in the base model, the 190, with a 2-litre 4-cylinder petrol engine and it has quite a lot of pep. Only about 150 horsepower but this thing shifts and it doesn't feel like a tall SUV. I suppose in real life BMWs manage to be quite nimble agile machines no matter how big they are and this thing whoa okay okay it's a little bit yeah but it did I was able to control it and it doesn't feel too heavy. The crash model has been reworked so let's try a crash test into this ETK perfect here we go whoa right up over the top and yeah it's a very very strong vehicle but bits have fallen off and that is a decent J beam almost I say almost dev quality. This mod was originally by the modder Overpower it was released in 2019 and this is a community led remaster. We do have some new configs but they're actually less configs in this version than before. Many of them were duplicates in the old mods. We've got a very cool config list here. 21 configs in all. This car shares many of its engines with the ETK 800. We do have a 2 litre diesel right now. Oh yeah, diesely goodness. I think all of these engines are turbocharged. And weirdly, we can get this with a manual. I don't really associate a big SUV like this having a manual, but apparently it does. And yeah, it's a fun driving experience. The diesel feels a little less poised on the road because of that heavy engine. Well, we can keep the speed up quite a lot. Brake, 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 brake. Oh my goodness. It does handle well. The diesel engine really, really suits this car and you just get so much torque from it. We are Whoa! Whoa! I was about to say we are really motoring on, but in the middle of the road, that's dangerous. This is the three litre straight six petrol. At the back, you can see some of the model designations. Now, this has actually been changed to align with the other ETKs in the game. And 1356, that's like the mid range. 56 means the middle range. And then the X means we've got all wheel drive. 300 means it's a three litre straight six. And this has amazing acceleration. It revs up to 7,000 RPM. It's a beautiful engine, sounds great. You'll know and love it from the normal ETKs. Whoa, but, oh my goodness. Whoa, brakes, good brakes, yes. And I don't remember this thing driving as well as this before it was remastered. Let's see what kind of speed we can get to over this amazing bridge on the map. Whoa, can't see where I'm going. Oh, somehow I missed that, somehow, what? How did I get through there? Oh, don't. Oh, it lost it. Look at the wheels. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not healthy. But as you'd expect, this is a really nice, comfortable cruiser with a good turn of speed. This mod has three different police cars. We've got two American ones on the end with this new bull bar. That looks really good. And a brand new German police livery, which looks much more up to date than the old one. I think we're going to drive the City of Furwood police car. Let's see what this is like in a pursuit. Sounds like we've got the three litre straight six that's a good choice and i think this is all-wheel drive and to give credit to this map the ai drive pretty much perfectly there's no weirdness they don't oh abishu covet behind us let's try and catch up to him come on come on come on we're chasing this abishu covet and again the people fleeing still drive really well pretty much perfectly um maybe not <laughs> i mean that's just typical in bmng but he's still going Oh, wh where's this guy going? What are we doing? We're going around in circles. Okay, let's try and get him. Use that bull bar. No! I'm going to ram him off the road, do a pit manoeuvre. Here we go. No, that didn't work. And again. Yes! Come on, stop him, stop him. Into the wall. Go, 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 go. Oh, nearly. Oh, we're in the wall. Try not to hit other civilians. Let's go, 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 go. go. Into the forest, into the forest. No, where, where have you come from? Yep, 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 yep. Have we got him? 
Yes, we got him. The mod had some brand new off-road configs. We've got the all-terrain and the off-road. And the all-terrain, imagine this is from the factory. So it's been customized in the factory to go off-road. I don't know what these tires are like though. They don't look like factory tires, but this is the off-road. It's been tuned quite a lot more. We've got a big bull bar on the front, beefier suspension, and this thing, well, I'm interested to see how they compare. Let's try the all-terrain first. We can change between uh, high range and low range. We can turn off the ESC. This has an automatic gearbox and a 3 litre diesel. We actually want to go up here past this small factory and floor it. Yeah, good grip. Here we go. Bumpy bit of road. Whoa! Oh, it took those bumps really well. And look, barely any damage on the exterior. Oh, you can kind of drift it. It's not as nimble as a rally car, but you can really fling it into tight corners, accelerate, and that grip just... Well, it works for you, really. To test the off-road variant, let's try and get this thing up the top of that mountain. I'm interested to see what it's like on that rocky terrain. So I've got a manual gearbox this time. In, whoa, high range to start with. Here we go, pushing it onto the rocks, or is it gravel? I think it's rocks, whoa, whoa. First gear, go, 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 go. Oh, that was easy, what the, ooh. And look at all this space to play in. This map is eight kilometers squared, it's huge. So, down the hill, let's go into low range, see if we can get this thing to kind of control its speed down here. Yeah, not bad, I haven't, I haven't hold the brakes quite a lot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, easy. Right, now let's push it a bit, see how strong and tough this off-roader is. Whoa, okay, don't roll it. Oh, it's good. It's really good. We've got underside protection. Whoa, which is stopping us from being too badly damaged. What happened there? Oh, the, the trunk's open. That can't be a good sign. This is just the perfect oh, off-roader unless you drive it like me. We've also got a new drift config. This has a 4.4 litre V8. Listen to this. Revs up to eight and a half thousand. This thing doesn't even have front windows. That's interesting. I know me steering wheel. Let's drift this thing around the awesome airport on this map. So, how easy is it to get into a drift? Well, whoa, quick steering. Oh, yes. Let's go right. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, yes. That steering angle is incredible. And so much power. We've got more V8 configs to check out, but this is awesome. It's the perfect drift engine. So, whoa, try and recover it. Okay, still a bit of understeer from this thing, but, oh, overpower it with the, oh, not quite. And here we go, look, round the airport car park. Let's see if we can get this thing to drift. Oh, oh, wow. You can recover it pretty easily. Oh, this is going to be a tight one. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, love it. This is the top of the line TT Sport Plus. Again, it's got the V8 4.4 litre engine. This interior is beautiful. Red leather, love it. But if you want something even better than this, we've got a new Renspect config. Of course, Renspect is ETK's like Alpina almost style company. It's a high-end tuner that makes the cars more luxurious and more powerful. There's subtle styling tweaks all the way around. A 13R, that's R for Renspect badge on the back a nice decal all the way down the side and look at those Renspect wheels and look at the logo as well it's a cool almost like Gran Turismo style logo on the interior we've got white leather all the models do have a sunroof which really helps bring a bit of light into the dark ceiling and look at these dials the blue Alpina style dials they look great the ETK 1300 now has career mode support so you can add cargo boxes into the seats and of course the trunk you can put six of them back there I've also put one in the back seat and one on the passenger seat. Now this vehicle will be available to buy in the career mode so go to the shop in there and you'll be able to find your ETK 1300. How does the Renspec drive? This is by far, whoa, the most powerful. We're going to go into TT Sport Plus mode. We do have a drift mode although I think we've done enough drifting so far. Whoa, the torque steer on this thing is crazy. Head out onto this road and floor it. Whoa, 60 already, 70. <gasps> That's incredible. How good are the brakes? Pretty good. I think they're carbon ceramic on this thing. Let's see what kind of speed we can get to without traffic. There you go, another Renspect badge. Really cool detailing on this Renspect model. So, the turbos have activated to their fullest. We're in fifth gear, heading over the bridge now at 150 miles per hour. We're not speed limited at 155. We're still going. Oh, it's so stable at high speed and it's turning pretty well. That's 178, I reckon about 180 of the car's top speed. This is going to be a big one. 
Whoa, rolling it. What a couple of rolls. Let go. And we've wrapped around a tree. I mean, that was 180 mile per hour crash, but look at that. And even though there's no Derby config, they have added Derby parts to the mod. So we've got a front and rear Derby bumper, this weird roll cage girder thing, and a front windscreen replacement, which just has some protection for the driver. I've put these parts on the ETK driving experience config, and I'm interested to see how much stronger it really makes it. So up there, we've got a normal ETK. Here we go. We're going to crash right into the side. Oh, yeah, that uh, that helps a lot. Engine impact damage. So the engine is damaged, but we haven't come off too bad from the crash. Whereas the ETK, yeah, that's quite bad. So the ETK 1300 is free and on the BeamNG forums. I've left the link in the description. It may be updated a bit more in the future. But if you'd like to see another awesome ETK mod for BeamNG, click the video on screen right now. It's the ETK 700, a pretty interesting mod. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.